morning, pumpkins. Welcome back to the channel, the vlog. Um, I don't even know when I vlogged the last time. I think it might have been during Aries season. So that's been since like April, May, June, July, August. It's been like four months. And I would really love to serve like at least a vlog every month because I enjoy making them and I enjoy having them as a point of reflection, even just for myself, if they like aren't viewed by tons of people. So I don't know. I do feel like though, if you wanna support more stuff like this, please interact with this video. Like if you really enjoy my vlog content, make sure that you like the video, make sure that you watch the entire thing so the engagement is up and comment. Even if it's just like an emoji down below, comment because that helps the algorithm to know to keep pushing this video so that I can continue to make more of them. Um, Patreon really is like what supports these videos at this point because they're not really viewed by a ton of people and I know that most of y'all that watch these love these and you ask for them so I want to be able to produce them um, I would really like to be making them like once per month I'm actually kind of excited today y'all because it is a gloomy day it's rained it's not raining anymore and I don't think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the day but it is a beautiful gloomy Pacific Northwest day I don't think I understood because this is my first year living in the PNW I didn't appreciate the rain. <laughs> I didn't appreciate the gloomy days. And then summer came and I live where there is like no air conditioning, right? We don't believe in that here, which I'm from the desert and we believe in air conditioning in the desert. So it's really weird to live somewhere that just doesn't have that. And with global warming, it's just getting hotter. So we've had like one heat wave, I think this summer so far and that was ass. That was complete and total ass. <laughs> if I'm being completely honest with you, we went through actually two heat waves. The first heat wave, we did not have a unit in our home and that was all it took. The second time the heat wave blasted through, we made sure that we had a, a portable AC unit in our apartment that we bought, me and my spouse. Um, but as I was saying, I don't feel like I fully appreciated the rain. I was just kind of mad. Like when I moved last year, I didn't really get to have a proper fall or autumn time because I moved before it was really peak autumn in the hell was that ghosts we moved before peak fall happened in Utah which is where I was previously living and then when we got here fall was still happening but I definitely felt like I missed the transition and if y'all have listened to my podcast or my mental health video that I put out y'all know that I was really going through it I was really hyper vigilant I don't feel like I was paying attention to the seasons I couldn't and I feel like I really missed my favorite season last year and that's a big part of the reason that we've actually chosen to renew our contract where we live for the next six months because I was like, listen, I love autumn so much. I am never moving during an autumn time again like that. That sucked. I was robbed of my favorite season. It's like what I look forward to every year. Last year was a really hard year for me. I will not do that again this year. So I don't think I fully appreciated the rain that we had because it just like, seeped immediately into winter and I felt like I didn't really get those nice mushy cold crisp fall days after a long hot summer it just didn't ever happen it just I went from like this dramatic hot in the desert to a dramatically much cooler climate so yeah I'm really looking forward to like the temperate nature of the Pacific Northwest uh coming in for the autumn time I know it's not autumn yet but in my in my mind it is okay we've had llamas and it is now autumn time whether we want to accept it or not. It is now time for fall. Um, hello, pumpkin pajamas. Hello, witch's brew mug. Uh, it's a hello fall tree in my office, quite literally, okay? Um, it's fall. It is autumn time in my mind now. And I'm starting to see things in stores coming out, which is really exciting. So I wouldn't say that we're going Halloween hunting today by any means but interestingly enough i have kind of found myself in a glorious day um my spouse who edits these videos i'm so sorry but i'm actually kind of excited that he's not awake right now we've been trying to alter our sleeping schedule because we both work at home on our own time and so it's really easy for us to fall out of a rhythm and 
he unfortunately had a lousy time sleeping last night and is just really tired today. And so I get to take the car out by myself, um, which we have one car, one car family. Uh, I get to take the car out by myself, which I know that sounds so silly. It's like, really, you're not independent enough. I could do this anytime. I could take the car out when my husband is awake and like, you know, it's not a big deal. It kind of is though, because I'm gonna go to Costco and to Trader Joe's and probably to Sprouts. And I'm also thinking about stopping by Michael's just to do a little Halloween hunting and possibly home goods and just like take myself on a very chill, like some grocery shopping, excuse me, some grocery shopping, but also some Halloween hunting. And I'm actually kind of really looking forward to it. I feel like usually this kind of stuff, because I'm going to Costco, usually my husband would want to come. And here's the thing. Again, I love you very much, spouse. I know you're editing this video. I know you're gonna hear it all. I love shopping with my husband, but I know a lot of my girlies know. I hate it. <laughs> especially when it comes to grocery shopping. I'm a Taurus, I love to cook. I like having the final say when it comes to like what we're gonna buy grocery wise. Um, and I'm the one that gets to have all the say because I'm the one that's going. So I feel like I found myself in a really excellent position today. Um, at first I was a little like, oh, we're not gonna go together, you know, in traditional Cancer Venus fashion, wanting to like be with my partner all the time. Uh, but I was like, oh, like, we're not gonna get to do that together. And then I was like, wait, we're not gonna get to do that together. I get to go and do all of it. All right, y'all, fit check. Um, I'm not really feeling myself right now, if I'm being totally honest. Authenticity is why we're here. Um, I feel really fat right now, and that's because I am. Like, I don't fear the word fat. It's okay. Like, I do have a lot of fat on me right now. I am actually at very close by like a few pounds to my highest weight ever. And I actually was over my highest weight ever recently. And that's okay. We do what we can. Um, I'm trying to just be nice to myself because going through really anxious and depressive episodes, like you don't really think about your physical health as much. And that's like the last thing on your mind when you're spiraling. So, you know, as we bring it back together, we are doing our best. But fit check, we have, um, I'm wearing, of course, my alchemy necklace. This is the healing amulet. These earrings are from Target. Shirt is American Eagle. This is my favorite shirt. Like I own... I think six of them, <laughs> four black ones, a white one, and a gray one. And they're just like super like stretchy so you can knot them. And like, I'm a bigger girl in the middle of my body. Like my boobies and my tummy are pretty big. So are they, they just, I have more fat there. So um, I like them because you can knot them and they're like super stretchy and really comfortable. My pants are these high-waisted cheetah pants. Oop, I gave you the feet for free. <laughs> High-waisted cheetah pants from Mindy May's Market, which is where like 85% of my wardrobe comes from. Um, I will link their website down below. It is a referral link, but uh, they're just good stuff. I've never bought anything from there that I didn't love. So, And they recently extended their sizes, some of their stuff, to up to 4X, which is great. I was really happy to see the inclusivity recently. About time. Um, in any case, oh, gem goddess bracelet and this one came from creative energy in florida the red one it's a garnet the other ones are rose quartz of course and my apple watch and let's get to it also before i go i pulled a card for my day just ugh, also ignore my nail i can't find my nail glue and so that one's just off right now but um I pulled a card for my day just to see how my little outing was gonna go because I don't know it's not I'm kind of a hermit y'all I don't leave my house every day um but seven of pentacles I feel like it's gonna be we are kind of juggling a lot going a lot of places I also see the chariot which that's like literally me taking my car out and going somewhere and then bottom of the deck we have the world so interesting stuff you know i feel like it's a vibe i feel like it matches the energy of the day i literally told myself if i pull the tower i'm staying home and i didn't pull the tower so Whew. 
Ooh, Chile. I gotta turn this air down. It's a little bit warm for how like cozy it is today. Also, if this angle is weird, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not used to vlogging in my car, but it's something I would like to get used to. Um, Y'all, I don't know if you could tell from that shot. I'm hoping that it can be edited in post so you can see, but I took a shot of the trees outside of Costco because listen, every motherfucker is like, no, it's August, it's summer, it's Leo season, blah, 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 no. It's fall, it is peak fall and the leaves are already changing here. This is my first um, August living here. So gosh, this is gonna be so weird to reflect on in a couple of years, but this is my first August living here. And I'm just like, should I be turning this off? I feel like my air should be off. Um, it's my first August living here, so I don't know what the descent into autumn even looks like. Also, I don't know what is wrong with me today. It might be the lack of sleep, but I was just like not feeling good inside that Costco. I was masked up doing the damn thing, but I was just like hot and feeling like burpy and like, I'm sorry, poop is just in the vlog today. like poopy I guess like you know when you feel like you're gonna need to go in like a little bit that's kind of where I'm at right now I'm not really sure what's up the only thing I ate today was eggs um, and they were like eggs from the farmers market so not really sure what the tea is on that uh, it might also have just been the energy of Costco it was very busy in there it's why I didn't vlog anything inside Costco it was so fucking busy uh, we're actually in the parking lot right now but I'm gonna head over to Trader Joe's Hopefully they're gonna have some autumn stuff out already. They may or may not, we're gonna find out. <coughs> Run down the wrong pipe. I was really focused on that person walking by my car. Is anybody like that? Especially men. Like, don't get me wrong. We love the divine masculine representation, okay? But I have like, I think it was all the lifetime television as a child. I have like an outrageous fear of men. Like, it is over the top, I feel like. Like a man could be quietly walking his dog across the park from me and I would be scared. I have like a very real fear of men. Oh, the trees, they're so pretty. Ah, okay, I'm one Trader Joe's. It's a good day to be alive. See, things do still impress me. Yes, spooky vibes, spooky vibes, spooky vibes, spooky vibes. Don't look at me. I keep saying don't look at me to all the people who are in fact looking at me. Oh, just kidding. It's crowded. All right, the lighting in here is kind of ass, um, but it's time for haul. This is like the best part of shopping. So first of all, let's haul this Target that I ordered because I will put a link for this down below. It probably will be an affiliate link, but y'all, do you remember circa like, gosh, I don't know if that was 2019, 2018, 2019 and 2020 were like two of the best years of my entire life. And then my Saturn return hit and everything exploded. But um, there were these pajamas that I have. I still have them. They are my most coveted pair of pajamas. You saw me wearing my jack-o'-lanterns earlier. Those are new as well from this year, which I'll also link for you down below. These ones, however, I'm not getting rid of my old pair, but they redid they redid the leaf pajamas. If y'all like, I don't know if I ever took a full photo in them that you've seen, but yeah, I got me and my husband matching leafy pajamas. I'm excited because like I said earlier, your girl got a little bit fatter and my pajamas don't fit as well. These ones are bigger, so they will fit better. Oh, I'm gonna put these on later. I don't care if it's 80 degrees outside. I am wearing those and I will blast my air conditioner because that is the only acceptable option. Let me go put these in another room and then we're gonna get to these groceries. All right, y'all, we're gonna start with Trader Joe's. Um, 
a lot of stuff at Trader Joe's. Some stuff we needed, some stuff I was just like, I want extra and some stuff was just new. And I feel like I bought a lot of shenanigans today. So I got four of these firm tofu, extra organic, extra firm. Nope, they're just firm. They're not extra. <laughs> uh, four of these, my husband, as y'all know, is still vegan. So we do still eat a lot of vegan food. I would say that my diet is like 95% vegan aside from fish and eggs. Uh, I also got four cans of diced fire roasted tomatoes. I hope that fan in the background isn't too annoying. Hopefully we'll be able to edit it out. It's too hot to not have it on. I got two of these jumbo cinnamon rolls that are like accidentally vegan. Good times. I, I really wanted the pumpkin cinnamon rolls, but I think it's just too soon for pumpkin flavored things at Trader Joe's. But I got two of those. I got this thing of teeny tiny avocados. These are my favorite of all the avocados that like any of my local, local grocers sell. I like these because they are like the perfect size avocado. And sometimes me and my husband will share, sometimes we'll take one to ourselves. I also got some organic creamy cashew. This is like a vegan yogurt. And with that, I also got some brainless granola. I do not eat 100% gluten-free, but I do try my best to get the alternative whenever it's available. Um, I am not gluten intolerant, I am gluten sensitive. So I have to be careful. Um, I got these, which y'all been around here for a long time and seen any of my playlists of like food back in the day from like 2019, maybe even 2018. <sighs> these are like the best, these hash browns. They're way less greasy than any other hash brown I've ever had and they are just the best. Like. I don't know what kind of crack they put in their hash browns at Trader Joe's, but they are addictive and amazing. I got two navel oranges. This is for that quinoa dish that I was talking about. I got two limes. I don't know, like baby just wanted limes. I don't ever have a reason for buying citrus. I usually just buy it. Sometimes I'll use it as a replacer for salt because um, I deal with a lot of leg and feet swelling. And mostly I think it is because I've had surgery and so my circulation is not as good as it maybe would be for somebody else. But I also noticed that when I intake a lot of salt, it is worse. So sometimes I'll use this as like a replacer for salt, um, like literally on things. Like I'll put lime juice on top of my eggs because I don't want to use salt. I also picked up some tahini. This I didn't really have a plan for. We were just out and I like to make hummus with it sometimes. I like to drizzle it on things. Um, tahini is just a good vibe. I just like it. I picked up some thyme because we were out. I also picked up a lemon pepper grinder. Now this does have salt in it, which is unfortunate, but the lemon pepper, I'm not usually a fan of just like the shaky lemon pepper that tastes fake. This one actually has dried lemon peels, peppercorns, and sea salt chunks in it. And you grind it like fresh, I guess. One of my favorite toppings for avocado. Like I know everybody is all about the everything but the bagel seasoning. I think this is better personally. I also picked up these cheddar style slices, cashew cheese alternative. I just really wanna make grilled cheese and tomato soup. That's like my plan tonight is to make that for dinner. So I bought this just for grilled cheese. I don't really like Trader Joe's dairy cheese, dairy free cheeses. I'm hoping if I doctorate it up, it up with enough like oils and things like that on the grilled cheese and the soup that it will just be good. Uh, we're going to find out today. We're going to learn today, family. Oh, I was really excited about this. Okay. This is new. Um, I think it came out like this month, possibly. This is the crunchy jalapeno lime and onion. This is just like a topper for things. I used to, I think I've shown it on my channel before. I used to buy their original crunchy. It's just like a thing that you put it on top of avocado toast, on top of potatoes, whatever you want. It used to be something that I would put on my avocado toast and it was so good. This one is a jalapeno lime. So I have heard apparently from the cashier, they might've just been blowing smoke up my ass, but they did tell me that on Wednesdays we wear pink. So I don't feel like they were shit talking. They knew the Mean Girls memes. Uh, they said that they thought this one was better than the original. So I'm very excited to try that. And that is one bag down. I picked up some more nooch, some nutritional yeast. Uh, if you're plant-based or even if you're not, this is just something good to have. It's like, 
it's not cheese consistency, but it has a cheddar-like flavor. And I like to just put this on stuff. If I'm making any cashew-based sauces in place of like Alfredo or um, mac and cheese, things like that, I will put this in my sauce when I blend it up and I swear to you, it tastes like cheese. So fantastic. And it's a superfood. It's like good for you. Uh, I picked up some of the Trader Joe's marshmallows because they're vegan, which normal, marshmallows I think have gelatin in them. Um, my husband and I have been going to a friend's house lately and we've been doing s'mores, but my husband doesn't eat, like he can't eat any of the marshmallows and stuff. So I picked these up literally just so we could have them if we go over to their house to make s'mores because he's like, I want s'mores too. I never get to eat. <laughs> um, I also picked up two bottles of the Charles Shaw Chardonnay. Um, listen, I know I said I was having a dry, girly 2022 or 31st year of life. In this economy, it was never gonna be a dry year. It was never gonna happen. Um, I do feel like I have significantly tapered down. I Let's have a real moment for a moment, shall we? I do think at the height of my panic attacks last year, I was definitely using alcohol to self-medicate and I would not like it would I would have to drink to sleep and I don't do that anymore I do feel like I drink more responsibly I at the beginning of this year I really kind of put the, the the kibosh on it is that the word I'm looking for um, I really was like no I don't want to do that so much anymore and then I think especially since my birthday in May I was like I really just want to slow down and I would say I drink maybe once a week at this point I try not to drink even on like the weekdays I'll save it for the weekend or for like a day where I'm gonna have a day off but I also bought this to cook with <laughs> obviously not the bottles but uh one of the recipes that I'm making I think it's actually the soup that I'm trying to make the tomato basil bisque calls for some white wine so I was like I'm gonna get a bottle and then I'm gonna get a bottle for the chef uh I will not be able to drink those by myself but I do find that when I cook with wine I tend to drink wine so I just bought a little extra you know so we have some and then I don't know why I'm explaining myself like I think Real talk, if any of my ex-Mormons, you know, I think I still have weird shame around drinking, especially because my mom to this day still calls all of her children disappointments for drinking because she's Mormon. And I think I feel this like inherent need to over explain my drinking. And it's weird because I don't have any shame about it. I'm literally a full fledged adult and it's okay. And I don't feel like I'm over consuming. So, I don't know. Anyways, um, I also picked up four cans of organic coconut milk. I got this for that quinoa dish I was talking about, and this was actually the recommend of Gracie. I think it's Gracie Norton is her name. Uh, it was at her recommend because this coconut milk, it literally just is coconut, organic coconut milk and water. That's it. There's no fillers, stabilizers, any of that shit. And don't get me wrong, I think that sometimes I obviously make the exception, like, hello, I literally bought granola that's full of all kinds of shit, I'm sure. Um, or maybe my yogurt isn't the cleanest, but I do feel like, again, I try to make the effort where I can. I also picked up these crunch chili onion peanuts. Uh, these were more for my husband, if I'm being honest, but they just looked good. I picked up some raw pecan halves. These are just to eat or like put on top of oatmeal and stuff or chia seed puddings. I got some organic ketchup because again, we were just out. I haven't had ketchup in my house in months and I like it for my hash brown. Oh, this one actually came at the recommend of one of you uh, on the Patreon in particular. Um, on our last wine and paint night that we did last month, uh, just as like our little community meetup, which if you're not part of the Patreon, please join. We're doing new moon manifesting this month. And if you're seeing this vlog, it hasn't happened yet. So uh, make sure that you come and join us for that. It's going to be a good time. But um, one of y'all recommended this to me. I think it was Brianna from the Patreon that recommended this. I'm pretty sure. Um, and it is a sparkling coconut water with yuzu. Um, even the lady at the checkout said this was really good. And like I said, she quoted Mean Girls to me, so we have to trust her. 
Uh, and that is all for the second bag. And then I have a couple of things, just like two things, three things, four things <laughs> from Trader Joe's. I have some mushrooms just because these are not in season at my farmer's market right now. So I can't get them. Uh, I got some gochujang because I like to have this, but it, I have to buy like a huge container usually. And this was $2. Um, if y'all have been here a long time, you know that I love Asian food. When it comes to cooking, Asian food is probably my favorite to cook aside from soups or stews. And this is something I actually just like to have in my pantry or in my freezer but I hadn't had it because when we moved, we couldn't bring it with us because it was such a long drive. We didn't pack an ice chest. Uh, so I've just been needing to replace it and they happen to have it at Trader Joe's. I also picked up this organic fresh basil. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little bit mad that I don't grow my own basil. <laughs> I feel like that's something I should be doing. I have not figured out how to garden and have the magic touch yet. I kill every herb that I try to grow. Uh, and then I also picked up some chives again for that soup recipe. I will link that recipe down below for y'all if you're curious. I think that's everything from Trader Joe's. So we're going to move on to Costco. Costco is a much smaller haul. Um, I picked up this sweet kale chopped salad kit. This is definitely just for me. The dressing has eggs in it. So my husband doesn't really eat this unless he just will eat like the salad and I'll have the dressing and he'll pick something else. But I love this salad. This is probably my favorite salad of all time, like in a bag. It's my favorite kit that I've ever had. I've loved it for years. Uh, when I was vegan, I didn't eat it. And since I started eating eggs, I've come back to it. Um, I have this Kirkland organic quinoa. Honestly, I can't believe I went this long without having this in my pantry. We used to buy it consistently and I haven't purchased it in a while. And both me and my husband have been talking about eating more quinoa, so delish. I also picked up some fresh medjool dates. These are the ones I prefer. I think that they're sweeter and better than the ones that come in the bag from Costco. Um, they're just, they're so good. They taste like caramel. like. They they taste like you're eating candy. There's and honestly, they probably have so much sugar in them. They probably are kind of like candy. Let's see, 30 grams of sugar with you know what though? Four grams of fiber, so make you poop. Um, but they're so good. Oh my god, they're so good. Uh, one of my favorite treats. I also picked up two loaves of sourdough bread from Costco. This is just the Seattle sourdough. Usually I get sourdough at Trader Joe's, but it's such a good deal at Costco. And since I was already there, um, also, if you did not know, and you are a girly or a gay, a they, um, where was I going with that? The girls, the gays, and the theys. Uh, if that's you, um, and you are gluten sensitive or gluten in if you're gluten intolerant i do not recommend but if you're just gluten sensitive sourdough bread has actually a lot less uh gluten in it and so i have found that sourdough doesn't really mess me up if i eat like a loaf of it obviously i'm not gonna feel very good but just like a piece here and there i've noticed doesn't really like roll me so just saying if you're just gluten sensitive you might consider sourdough bread as an option for you and it's good for the vegans too. Oh, I bought this because I couldn't resist. Uh, this is a case of Waterloo. It came with passion fruit, um, blackberry lemonade, and cherry limeade. The flavor sounded so good. I felt like I could not pass this up. Uh, if you haven't noticed, our family is a drinks family. Like we always have sparkling water in the house. We're not like soda people. Like we, me and my spouse, we're not like, we might have Coke Zero sometimes, but we're not really big on soda beverages, but we're like, like sugary sodas. We're really big on LaCroix. We like our TV static. You know what I'm saying? We like our bubbly waters. My husband also has a soda stream, but he just makes water. He doesn't like put soda flavoring in it. He just makes water. Um, but yeah, we have this. And then I also bought those Yuzu drinks and wine. Like we are just a drinkies family. Uh, in any case, that is all for my haul for right now. I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Minis. What? What? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing?
Hello friends. Um, I am so exhausted. I slept for like five hours last night. I think we already talked about this, but I'm so tired. I am making dinner right now, which the next vlog I think is gonna pick up from right here. So you will get a continuation and we're gonna move into more of like a self-care routine for the next one. But um, I'm just, I'm so tired and I know that I have enough footage for a whole vlog and the things that I want to show, I want to do like a witchy self care routine and I want to do it when I feel like my energy is good and right now that is not the vibe. I'm not feeling my super best right now. I'm tired. I'm a little crabby. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I want to just take a shower and go to bed after I eat dinner. So um, we're going to pick up on the next vlog doing a bit of a witchy self care routine is my hope. So if you like this video, please, please, please interact with it. It really helps me to continue to make more. So please interact with it if you enjoy it. And you know, even if it's just an emoji in the comment section, like the video, share it with somebody that maybe you think would like my content. Um, that would just really help me out to be able to continue to do these because I do enjoy them. I have a good time. So in any case, thank you so, so, so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to look in my description box for all of the things. If you want to do some new moon manifesting together, definitely join the Patreon. Uh, the new moon coming up on the 27th. It's a Virgo new moon. We're going to be setting intentions together as a group on the Patreon. So the way I think about it is it's like getting into the Patreon is like your ticket and your ticket gives you over 200 posts. I think I just looked my Patreon since start because you get everything. It has 235 plus posts now. A lot of those are videos. Uh, so it, it's worth it. In my humble opinion, it is worth it. Most of those things are videos. So if you're not on the Patreon, definitely get on it. Uh, don't forget to check out my uh, website, chloetaylor.com. If you want to book a reading with me, I do not have very many of them in stock or I don't stock very many ever anymore. So if you want to get something and it's available, make sure you get it when it's available. Um, and I'm at Chloe Taylor all over the web. I am, I'm, I'm tired y'all. I need to go to bed. I can't even like outro properly. I'm so done. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for sharing my day with me, for hearing all my shenanigans and basically running a bunch of errands with me. I thought this vlog was gonna be very different, but that's okay. Like I said, you're gonna get another vlog and it's gonna be the self-care vlog. So I love you so much. And you know what? To be fair, I know I'm rambling and I, I want to go, but to be fair, this was still self-care in a way. It might not be the gentle face mask, bathtub, witch uh, things that we're doing like magic, etc. but it is still self-care because I'm taking care of things in my day-to-day -day life that need taking care of. So I would still argue that it is self-care. Going out and grocery shopping, making sure that my husband has medication, making sure that my cats are fed, you know, doing all of those things it is self-care in a roundabout way but in any case i love you so much we'll pick it up here where we left off and uh i'll talk to you in the next one pumpkin please do not forget when you stand on your own authenticity you empower everyone around you to do the same and i'll talk to you again soon